Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. That's right. Okay. That was, that was a lot lower than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Escape Radio, episode one. Hello. Hello, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. It's all right. All right. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, this is the new thing that we're trying out tonight. It's going to be interesting. Um, we'll play a few songs and then we'll have our guest on. Yep. And uh, guest on, not guest on. Um, <laughs> yeah, we left him in front. What did you think? I can't remember. <laughs> well, yeah, both. Both of you are right. You yeah. are right. Well done. Thanks. I was about you <laughs> to be right for something. Anyway, yeah, move Anyway, on. so this song's called Malachikas. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh, oh.
Okay. Right, guys. Tell people what happened this morning, dude. Ah, oh, this morning, uh, I was interviewed by the fantastic Doreen Tipton. It was great. She played one of our tunes. She did. She did. Yeah, it was great. Um, and I didn't waffle on too much either. Uh, they edited. Yeah. They edited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavily. Yeah. The 15 minutes lead up there, yeah, that was gone. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so um, but massive yeah, thanks to massive thanks to Doreen for uh, yeah for having us on the show, yeah for sorting us out, yeah, yeah, and um, love us back, yeah, that'd be good, yeah, definitely useful. Yes, and they played this next song, didn't they? They did, yeah, which is called Drive.
can't plan to run away And I know you just told me I'm thinking that I cannot stay And now you don't want me Turn up, let's break these walls somehow I know you just told me It's time for us to escape now Just wait and now you'll see But I don't know what you're waiting for and walk away You can't decide But I am sure And I really can't let you stay It's not just show now anymore As we walk into the fray We got plans for so much more Well I'm sorry I have to say Making plans to run away And I know you just told me I'm thinking that I cannot stay And now you don't want me Turn up, let's break these walls somehow I know you just told me It's time for us to escape now Just wait and now you'll see I don't know what you're waiting for Walk away, you can't decide, but I am sure, and I really can't let you stay. It's not just show now anymore. As we walk into the fray, we got plans for so much more. Well, I'm sorry, I have to say. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Well, we know the biggest inspiration. How are you first? I don't know. Okay. I thought it was quite funny. We didn't have the cat's chorus joining in. We had the dog's chorus. Yes. Yes, we did. I don't know if people heard at home, but the toy poodle in the kitchen is going fucking berserk. So, without further ado, special guest, come on down. So weird not having the entrance music. Approaching the sofa, <laughs> weighing in at three thousand pounds. <laughs> no, cost three thousand pounds. Yeah, I don't. I don't at all. So here it is, uh, Jamie Gilbert, aka Sugar Jimmy Vice. Um, so you're a wrestler. Oh, I am mean, a wrestler. Yeah. Pro wrestler. Um, and you you wrestle for APW, yep. which is uh, like a local. Uh, well, you, you tell us about it. Yeah, like so it's um, Academy Pro Wrestling. Um, we're based at the moment at Kushin Kai in Maidley. Um, well, Tweedo, I think it's. Mm. Yeah. Um, so the industrial state up there. Uh, got our next show coming on the 8th, uh, which is Anniversary 3. Um, so it's our 
It's not like WrestleMania. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of, uh, yeah. So it's always a special show. Always, yeah. always antics and always uh, things going on. So. Well, we'll be there. Yes. We will be yeah. there. We've got that front row yeah, box. Front row yeah. <laughs> With our Jimmy Boyce t-shirts on. Yeah. We're there. Oh, <laughs> we're going to be in the opposition some stick. Don't worry. Yeah. 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 yeah, I nearly got in a fight with one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Edwards, wasn't it? Edwards didn't like you. Right. He didn't like me at he all. Like you yeah. all. Yeah. Even from the ring, he was, he was cursing. He was <laughs> eyeballing you. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, was making it out. <laughs> I, I tagged with him in the um, in the last in the last show. We had an eight man tag, so oh. it was um, it was basically all the rivalries, yeah, um, right. all in one match. So you had um, C J Connors and Joe Black, yeah, yeah. So um, AK forty seven Club Tropicana, and then Edwards and Scorpio. Oh, they were Scorpio, oh, yeah. so. It was, uh, we won. So. Yeah. Well, you got to win. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. We were, we were the better team, so. There you go. Well, there, you go. there you go. I'm sure you didn't cheat at all. No, not at all. No, <laughs> not at all. We No, no, not at all. all the rules no, every exactly. time. Every yeah. time. It's the yeah. ref. He, he just, he's blind. He is. It's, it's a ref thing, isn't it? I think we it love is. the refs. <laughs> <laughs> There's that one ref that's really popular, isn't he? Yeah, Derek, um, yeah. Yeah, everyone like, gives you standing ovations and stuff. He's got his own merch. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. So much like a white shirt. Yeah, loads of footlocker shirts. No, he's actually got his own. Merch printed mm, from really cool. myself, but yeah, it's a picture of him um, saying "clean it up" and <laughs> so yeah, that's one of his famous that's phrases. Cool. Nice slogan. Yeah. Not that he ever has to tell Club Tropicana to clean no, it up. No, no, always, yeah. always straight. Good boys, so. exactly. Yeah. So good, wholesome boys. <laughs> that was what I wanted to ask you actually. So <laughs> your your wrestling um, uh, like character, yeah, Jimmy yeah. Vice. Um, He's like he's a baddie, isn't he? Yes, he's he like, is. Yeah, he's a hero. scumbag. Yeah, <laughs> um, I remember you telling oh, me about well, it. <laughs> these are your words. These are your words. Wow. You said to me, "He's a real scumbag." <laughs> and um, I so don't remember that. At all. Yeah. We'll edit that bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is he's a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this is my point. This one because you are a really nice guy. Yeah. 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 Um, Thank you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are a really nice guy, and so did do you. Did you come up with uh, Jimmy Vice, or um, is that something the promotion kind of comes up with for you, or is it? It was you know? probably one of the hardest bits to do right. um, to come up with a name and a character. Yeah. Um, I originally started as JJ Carter. Right. Um, it didn't really fit. Didn't really. I, I didn't know what direction I wanted to go. I'd, I had wrestlers that I based it on. Yeah. Um, but it's, it is, I find it hard. Some people, yeah. it comes just naturally, but um, it wasn't until my running debut where I came in and um, assisted Eddie to uh, to victory. So, um, you know, all, all within the rules, you know. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. on the ref's back yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, exactly. But, um, you know, Ajax had it coming, what can I say? He's, uh, well, they got it coming yeah. next weekend. They have, yeah. definitely, yeah. Best believe. <laughs> But um, so it wasn't up until um, I think the week before uh, where I'd bought bought my outfit um, <laughs> for my running because obviously you don't want to just go in. You need to be that character. You need yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. It's the first time anyone was going to see me. So, and that's where the grey suit jacket yeah. was born, jeans and a pink t-shirt. Um, and it wasn't until I put that on and I did some promo shots. Right. Um, I knew I wanted a lollipop. Because yeah. it's, it's quite a, an arrogant thing. It that? is, yeah. I, yeah, I, like, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it, just, it looks a part as you yeah, walk yeah, in. Yeah. The whole yeah. throwing it behind. And yeah. like, <laughs> that's genius. <laughs> that, yeah. 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 Have you that's ever genius. injured anyone with that? I hope not. <laughs> well, I, I know, I know, I know the, last show, the last show that we was at, um, he threw the lollipop and it landed on some kid's lap. He was like some teenager who had probably been dragged there by his younger brother or something. He just sat there texting. <laughs> well, he shouldn't have been texting. He That's right, he right. Exactly. Keep your eyes on the road. That's it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it wasn't up until those promo shots and um, one of the, the guys at training um, come up and said, oh, that's really Miami Vice. And, yeah. yeah. And it was like, do you know what? And then somebody else was like, well, your name's Jamie. It gets like in Scottish accent, it's like Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. it just kind of like spiraled from there. And they were like, sugar Jimmy Vice. And it was just, you know, when like that light bulb goes yeah, off. Yeah. And it was just so, so yeah, that's how Jimmy Vice was born. And then oh. the other little bits are just kind of, kind of me that turned up. That's, that's it. Yeah. That's so it. 
the little attributes that are in there and like they are just because I'm you know Eddie's very um Eddie Kermain's very uh should we say camp yeah <laughs> so he has that yeah. angle all down whereas <laughs> I'm like the the ladies man I suppose to his <laughs> yeah, to like, his like, man's yeah. like size nice so man. yeah <laughs> man's man. yeah we'll go with that don't um, tell him what they're doing. No, 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 no he should be watching. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but he'll love me for saying that anyway. So, um, But although I do think Abby's got kind of a bit of thing for him, I think that T-shirt the last show, because mm. he wore a T-shirt yeah. saying, I love Abby. Oh, right. So I think that's kind of... But we'll see. We'll yeah. see at the next show. Yeah. So how that materialises. But um, So, yeah, so it's just kind of... You find... The easiest characters to play you, but basically turned up to a hundred is what mm. we say. So, yeah. so deep down, really, you're a bad guy then. Well, every, every girl it's, likes it's, a bad guy. It's the, she? So <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah. to be a bad guy, but yeah. controlling it in in your personal life. I mean, it's and then put, turn it up for a obviously a performance. Unfortunately, the years of like kayfabe have have uh, well, although some of us try and keep it alive, they have like gone. You know, um, <laughs> I went to a Bret Hart. Um, audience with um, earlier this year and he said when he was having a feud with Owen his brother yeah yeah, um, yeah they literally that hated like each other mid, on screen early mid 90s yeah yeah so wow. they literally hated each other but because everyone travels together yeah. they would literally have to travel separately so separate cars <laughs> they wouldn't sit next to each other on the plane to keep up the kayfabe um, and he said it wasn't until one of the days that they used to get delayed quite often he said and he said they never knew why and the one time he happened to be stood next to Owen and um, he leant over and sort of said to Owen like what, what's going on and the guards apparently went aha we knew it we knew we wanted each other and he was like that's how involved everyone yeah, was yeah. with at that yeah. time so um, but that was a great night but um, but yeah so I think that unfortunately that side of it as much as it pains me to say it is you know, there's a lot of fans that mm. stay behind after the show, and they obviously see you all like, and oh. you, yeah, and you try yeah. and come out, and they're like, oh, we, you know, we love you, and you, you still want to play that kind of. Well, I'm yeah. a bad guy, so, but yeah, obviously, <laughs> like, you know, you, you and um, your lad had a picture of yeah, things yeah. on the first yeah. show, so it's like, you. I mean, there is still some guys that be like, now get away from me, kid. But it's <laughs> like, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I can't do that. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> far enough into my career yeah. yet to be able to like, <laughs> now nah, do you know what? Go away. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you got to keep the fans. Exactly. Them away. But yeah. then I, I do obviously wrestle on um, another promotion called FCW. I noticed. I noticed where I'm obviously a, a face, so a good guy, right? Um, with Joe Black. From we're, APW. Yeah, so we're um, Business and Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. you probably saw the program. I did, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Funny stuff. Yeah, funny so stuff. it's um, so it's kind of difficult to keep that whole, no, I'm a bad guy. I'm a, But there's still quite a lot of people that still get quite yeah involved in it, yeah. So which is good. And yeah. we get booed, so we're obviously doing something right. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. Any reaction is a good reaction. Exactly. Well, yeah. as a bad guy, you want to be booed, and as a good guy, you want to be cheered. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's easier, I think, to come out and be booed. Yeah. yeah. Because if you've got someone and, you know, shut up. They can yeah, instantly yeah. say shut up back to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A good guy. And it's happened to me. Um, come out. Nobody really knew who I was. And it was like, and there was like tumbleweed. And I was like, <laughs> That's the thing, oh. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. If they know who you are, then they've got, they've they've got, got something to get too. behind, haven't yeah, they? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was my... One of my first um, debuts at FCW was Business and Pleasure. Come out and give it the whole way. Yeah. And it was just like... <laughs> <laughs> so I literally walked back through the curtain. And I was like, no, nah, I'm doing this again. Come out. <laughs> my, my tag partner, Joe, was like coming out. And he was like, well, what are we doing? And I was like, no, I'm going back out. <laughs> really? So, but yeah, it, it happens. It so happens how often do you wrestle then? Um, at the minute, it's twice a month. Right. So it's that's the way it's worked. Um Obviously, APW is has been roughly about once a month this year, right. bar when we had like nearly a two month break. Right. So, and then FCW is every month. So, mm. the way it falls, yeah. yeah, it's normally twice a month. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, like training, do you, do you just have, like how often do you train? Uh, once a week at the minute, um, right. on a Friday at seven o'clock uh, at Cushion Kai for three hours. Um, and like, right. like members of the public can come and, and yeah, try definitely, that out, yeah, yeah. The f the first session's free. Um, and then it's ten pound after. Um, 
or there's like um, if you pay for a whole month sometimes the way the months fall it's a little bit cheaper to pay right. yeah up front so yeah like um, you get five fridays you. yeah exactly so um luke will, will obviously reduce it down to yeah. um, to help you out so um but yeah it's it's great great atmosphere um great trainers as well we've got some um some guys that have been in it a, a long time yeah, like yeah. edwards yeah. um luke sometimes takes the uh takes the training sessions jerry sanchez Tommy Gunn, so... Edwards, is he really American? <laughs> yes. He is really American? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? what like, hey, he's, he's, he's held prestigious titles all over the world, so, you know... Yeah. His accent's brilliant. Um, it is. He's really good. Really good. So, yeah. what, what does he sound like normally? Um, is he from See, this is why we get you on here. <laughs> yeah, 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 we get you yeah. on here to get all the inside information. I told you there was no question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, I've got to go. In. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, um, we, we won't give that away. No, no. Basically, I think what um, on camera. <laughs> yeah, what um, what happened with that? I think um, he was wrestling. He was wrestling somewhere for a promotion, and then they, I think, got let down or something by an American guy, and he oh, was the only one that could do an American accent right really well. Yeah. Um, so he he naturally just and it. Yeah. it it is amazing to watch him. He's yeah. he's a very um very clever, very um very excellent wrestler. Like, yeah, yeah. Like he's, yeah. Um, he, he his puts story the part across so yeah, well. His, he really does. His storytelling and psychology <laughs> and everything is um is really good. It's um it's nice when he's at training because you yeah. try and absorb as much as you can yeah. from him. For, yeah. So um but yeah, that's how that come about. I'm, I can't really remember all the fine details of how, but yeah, that's the basis of it. So he is really good, like very good. So, um, but then there was, um, I don't know whether you guys were there when The Purge used to be a four. So you had Joe right. Black, CJ Connors, CJ Connors and Regan. Yeah, yeah. There was four of them. Regan, yeah. he is so cool. <laughs> yeah. He is he's so cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's going to mention about him. Yeah. <laughs> he is, he's the meanest looking guy on the roster. Hands down. Yeah, the meanest he's, looking guy on the he's, roster. Um, he's a big guy. He's, um, he's a big guy. Uh, he roars. He's a fucking proper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's, um, <laughs> he, he plays that part really well. Um, really, really well. So he's quite an intimidating character. Yeah. So it... it um, mm. It does fit the bill really yeah. well for him to be in the purge, but I like their name as well. The purge. Well, That's they, like, yeah. like I said, there used to be a four stable, so um, and they used to have a guy in there called Keen, um, who was like the leader. He used to come out with a hockey stick. Oh, you okay. might I not have seen him. I, 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 I don't know. I'm seeing, but I know the name. I don't know if it's he wrestles he elsewhere. Yeah, 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 he does okay. wrestle elsewhere, but he um, is basically from the Midlands somewhere and. Obviously, he's got quite a broad accent, but when he's he was in the purge, he comes out American. Yeah. So, uh, there's a lot of the time where like people around be like, "Hold on, you were just speaking like, <laughs> like sort of brummy." <laughs> but um, so it is quite funny how. But I think that's just how how some people's characters just yeah. come across. It's easier to you are someone completely different, I suppose. And then, yeah, but, yeah. I I, I think I. I did think about an accent and toyed around with it, but I think it's too much to try and yeah. try and remember like, to be in that all the time. Yeah, yeah I was going to yeah, say, you, yeah, you've yeah. got to maintain If you're not like experienced with, with no, exactly. an accent on, um, you don't want so it slipping up. And no, exactly, yeah. Like, people being like, hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough for that. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> when we don't have an accent, it's yeah. just like... So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, the, the thing that, like... I've watched wrestling since I was a little kid. Like, yeah. WWE and stuff like that, yeah. But I've never seen it live. Okay. And obviously, you know, it's no secret that like wrestling is <gasps> it's not real. Oh, but what? Oh. But no, hold on. We have hold this conversation. Keep it together, guys. Keep it uh, together. I know. Like, I said, hold on. Next you're week, gonna, you're going to be saying that two fairies not real. I was going to say, wow. Yeah. We're getting close <laughs> right. to Christmas. You're not going to ruin that for me, guys. I won't. But um. Make oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pete Davis says yeah, make I used to work with that guy. American accent. <laughs> Does it look like I can make him do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Far from laughing. <laughs> wow. Maybe maybe it'll slip out in a bit, you know. Like, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, look, where I was going, um when we when we come and saw the state the, the, the show, yeah. um you come away realising, yeah, you guys 
you, you know what's coming next and yeah, you yeah, have like yeah, you know, it's it's sort of yeah. Yeah. choreographed kind of thing but the bumps and the bangs and yeah, stuff yeah. <laughs> they're still oh, real, real. Yeah, still, yeah, they yeah. are still real yeah we um we were sat on the front row and i watched cj connor's pick up um Part of the fence, yeah. Which that's a real fence. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, oh, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, touched yeah, it, yeah. I felt, and and I threw it. Uh, and he and he threw the the fence down onto Joe on Black. top of Joe Black. Yeah, yeah. Then he picked up the stairs. Yeah, which yeah, they're, they're wooden stairs. Exactly. Not, you can see they're, they're wooden. They yeah, can't yeah. be that light. Oh, yeah. If they're made so. out of light wood, yeah, they're, they're not, not going to be that light. Yeah. No, that's it. And he threw the stairs down. Onto, I I I don't know how that didn't hurt. Yeah. And, and, and it must the, have done. Must, you know, the, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. So it's um, like there is that that it is predetermined, and there is you know it's we're trying to make a um a, a fake fight look real. Yeah. Um, but everything that we do is it does take its toll. It does. Oh yeah. Throughout yeah. a match. I know, you know. I know. You know, like the uh, the ladder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the, the things that was going on with that, I was like, oh. Well, I had a imprint. Of a, about three or four rungs down yeah. my back from where Joe did the swanton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I don't know whether you saw, but after he did the swanton, I obviously took it and tried to sit up and roll out the ladder, but kind of got <laughs> stuck. <laughs> so as I sat up, I was like, "No, nope, I'm gonna go again." Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I like, like rock back and forth a little bit to get myself out the ladder. Doing but, the guy in fly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah, and, and my shoulder took a, a bit of a battering when obviously yeah. CJ has put me and Eddie in a bit of a club tropicana sandwich. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I was say so, that. Yeah, there was so many. I was like, yeah, it's a steel ladder. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, so all that side of it is that's all. You know, you can't fake yeah. that. You can't fake a ladder being this kicked across you, or you know, that's a, right, yeah. a steel chair going across your back, or yeah. you know, the bump. I took off the ladder as well. Yeah, yeah. it's still, um, it's all, but that's what the training's there for. That's, yeah. You know, I mean, to take. Them, yeah, exactly. So. There's obviously yeah. you do you do. Yeah, I've there's and, yeah. things you can do like techniques you can use to break a fall, but definitely it's still a fall, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's still yeah. it still can go, and and that's why, you know, we don't let anybody get into yeah. a show or um, anything until. They've had a certain amount of training, or until they've proved yeah. that in a match situation, because it's all right at training as well. You know, you, you do your drills and you do your, yeah. but you add adrenaline and crowd oh, and yeah. sweat yeah. and tiredness and yeah. all of the mix into that. That's it. And you, then, you've got like you've got to allow for a room for error, haven't you? you exactly. Know, if yeah. you've slightly misjudged it, it's, it's not going to finish yeah. the same way necessarily. Exactly. It's like I mean, Joe's done um, his fair amount of swantons, and um, but at um, those that don't know, a swanton is where you yeah the Jeff like Hardy it. finisher yeah it's like <laughs> so like front a... flip off the off the top rope yeah. um, onto your guy and that's high um, as well isn't it yeah the top rope is is fairly high yeah um, but Joe actually did one off the top of the ladder that we used in the ladder match <laughs> last year um, but he the guy moved out of the way so obviously that height down into the ring yeah like. The ring's obviously got a little bit of giving it, but yeah, yeah but it's still still not on, yeah, it's, it's like those on, theme yeah, crash mats that you have at school, isn't it? It's, it's, not, not, it's not like a it's thick not crash mat. It's even that's not even a crash mat. No, uh, basically our ring. I mean, they're all different. I mean, uh, you'll see recently on NXT they've been ripping the canvas up and slamming them down onto just the wooden planks yeah. and along. Mm. But it's normally um, you've got obviously the, the steel structure. Yeah, ply boards going one 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 way, one another. Yeah. Thin mats over and then the canvas. Yeah, so I was gonna say it's not um, it's not padded surface that you're not massively, no, it it it, it hurts. Yeah. So yeah, it does um, and if you land wrong it's Yeah. You but know. you can see when people stand up like the, the red marks they've yeah, yeah. got yeah, you know, yeah. it's you know. Do you know what, the, you know what the, the things I struggle with? It's them slaps on the chest the traps. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not. They're they're not. They're nice. real. You can't fake yeah, that. No, no, yeah, no, no. You can't fake that. You can that. hear it. Oh wow! <laughs> Across the yeah. ring, oh. it's real. Well, I managed to um to avoid it in the rumble. You, you know, Big Mike. I don't yeah. know whether yes. you saw me. He grabbed all the wind. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not having anything to do with that. <laughs> so was that planned? Like, were you um, supposed? Was it, you supposed to let him do like? The slide basically, he was coming in and causing chaos. So whoever he grabbed hold of, it was you know you, you, you whatever. Yeah, <laughs> whatever he wanted to do. 
Okay, um, we've got a comment. Christopher Jones says... Oh, I knew he spends, he was going to comment. <laughs> he spends most of his matches on, on his, his back. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, well, like most weekends. <laughs> I wondered how long before. Yeah. <laughs> so that's um, that's CJ Connors. Oh, so, is that CJ? Connors? Yeah, that's CJ. So we won't be bigging him up anymore. Uh, <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll tell you because Joe Black's but, um, the better wrestler anyway. So <laughs> we, we do like Joe Black. We are fans of Joe Black, yeah. and um, and we gave we gave CJ some grief last time. Fat Ed Sheeran, Fat Ed Sheeran, and, yeah, and uh, yeah. Big Ron Weasley. Yeah. That's what we, that's yeah. the only thing we were shouting at. So. Um, <laughs> But yeah, yeah as much as we love you, CJ, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming on the eighth. <laughs> um, but obviously, he he faces Joe in the uh, the next show as well. So, um, so that should be a good match because them two have been at it since there was a the disruption in the footage. So, um, that was another one actually. Where on, in the same fight, um, after he threw the stairs on him, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and he uh, he did oh, it's like a tombstone, but. The yes, yeah, the, the package pile driver. Right yeah. yeah, yeah, on on top yeah. of the case. That, oh, yeah, that on top of the case. Nasty, that yeah, yeah. Not, it's that's really case, it? Yeah, so it's it's just not because it went on its head and yeah. like yeah. sort of it's a neck powerful, twist um, and stuff. I was like, Eesh. it's yeah. quite a powerful, um, powerful move. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, and it's yeah. one again, like with most of them. I mean, it, it only well, you saw Austin with Owen Hart and the pile driver. Mm. You know, you've yeah. only got to have a yeah. little bit of room of error, and that's it. Yeah. You know, accidents happen, and yeah. you know, excuse me, and you practice as much as you can to yeah. um, to obviously avoid that. But that's why um, you've always got to trust the guy that you're with, yeah, and they've got to trust you as well. Yeah. So um, it is it is a big big level of trust. Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? You know, you're definitely. Yeah, you both you both there to make each other look good. There's no yeah. there's no point in. I mean, unfortunately, the same with any industry. You get the people that are, no, it's about me. It's about me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. But most of the guys that I've come into contact with have all been really yeah. amazing guys, and mm. they've all took that's time out, and they've all um, yeah, they've all had time for you, and <laughs> will protect yeah. you. And yeah, so that's yeah. Good. That's good. I was going to say, so I, I, when I've uh, come out, gone through to the car park. Afterwards, you know, see them sort of in the cities, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, all right, all right. You know, everyone sort of that I've well, seen has always had a bit of time to say hello and speak. And well, exactly. Thing. We're always um, appreciative. And obviously at APW, we're, um, our, our fans this year have just rocketed up. Yeah. You know, we've, we've been hitting sort of 140, 150, touching on 160, I think, at some shows. Yeah, that's good. So that's, for us, to come out and perform in front of you lot, that yeah. amount is, yeah. you know, the more fans we get and the more, for, the better atmosphere it oh, is absolutely. for everyone, yeah. you know, yeah. so, um, yeah, we are really appreciative as, yeah. you know, as as much as we're like good yeah. guys and bad guys, we're still, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's the character that's the good guy, the bad guy, the, yeah, exactly. you know, like, the guys. Like I touched on earlier, it's it, that, that whole side of it. I mean, like I said, there is still people and there's still people at APW that, you know, will distance himself from, yeah, because yeah. it's they're <laughs> that good a character that it would just spoil it. Yeah. If, uh, if they were to come out and go, oh yeah, yeah, I'll sign this, I'll do this. I'll, yeah. You yeah. know, or, you know, it, it just, it would just spoil the, the that's right. Yeah, the, the magic of the it. The people who then sort of, you know, go and shut the hand or whatever and he's been all good, the next match, they're not going to be sort of perhaps booing him. No, you exactly. Know, yeah, that's like, like, oh, he's, he's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, that's the, but I mean, I mean, me and um, Eddie or Gary, his um, his name is, but um, obviously there's been a few times where we've come out and obviously we come out to Club Tropicana, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. quite a, a good song. So you'll get the odd little, little lather box. To that yeah, one. you'll get the odd <laughs> little cheer, but then it's your job then to obviously come out and make them hate you even more. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, there's a couple of there's a couple of I mean, there was a a, a big group of. Um, Women in the uh, in the front row at one of the shows, and you know you just kind of come out and you focus on giving them grief. You know, yeah. like, go to give them a lollipop and pull it away when they, when they reach out, and you know it just um, you go that extra bit then. So yeah. it's like right, we don't want to be cheered. You don't yeah. cheer, you don't get to cheer us. We're like, <laughs> no, we will make you boo us. So, but um, yeah. which then in turn should. Make them obviously cheer the good guy more. So exactly, that's it, yeah. exactly. So yeah. it's like, well, we can't cheer you, so we're going to cheer the yeah the other guys. So. Yeah. so who's like your wrestling? I know, you, I know, you're a massive fan of Bret Hart. Yes. Um, is he like your sort of wrestling idol? Is um, he the guy that sort of 
Yeah, I've, you I've get into it kind of thing. Yeah, I've, I've always got like a um, a, a go to memory of Brett that when uh, WWF it was at the time came to International Centre, mm. um, and I was at primary school, so I was still only only young, and um, I remember sitting on my I think it was my older sister's shoulders. Oh. And I had my little Brett Art glasses and my little phone <laughs> hand. Yes. And then um, he come out of the entrance and literally like was probably here to where your Christmas tree is now. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we like locked eyes. Oh. And I was like, yeah. And he like just sort of acknowledged. And I was yeah. that's me. Like, yeah, yeah. It was, and it just I don't know. Growing up, he was just always <clears throat> that's that's why my logo is the the, the pink. Yeah, 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 and the pink. So yeah. it was like. Um, yeah, he's definitely yeah. He was he was a hero of mine for sure when yeah. I was growing up. Absolutely loved him. Mine was Big Daddy. Mine, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that yeah. is going mad. Oh, yeah. yeah, obviously the reruns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, well, so what's like your um, your sort of future goals? Because you're you're still fairly new in your wrestling. Yeah, career, I am. Right? Yeah, I've only been um, only been training for about a year now. Um, so and I've only. I've only been on shows for probably the last five months. Um, sorry, we've, we've got a we've got a question for you. So Pete Davis, <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite flavoured lollipop? Oh, by me, um, they don't stay in my mouth long enough to taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, he's I, that good. Well, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm going, the guy that that's sweet, will uh, it'll make your teeth hurt. So, <laughs> um, but no, I tend to go for the um, the usual um, what are they call swizzle lollies, are they? Oh yeah, because yeah. they're not as offensive when you chuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, you want some that are like uh, got like a hard shell with like a, a powder or something in them. So you suck so. them so that enough to sort of wow. thin it out, and as you chuck it, it just bursts <laughs> over the room, and it is. <laughs> So you want me to burst over the fans? <laughs> Absolutely, wow. every time. <laughs> oh dear, we've reached a new level. Yeah, well, that didn't take long, did it? So, yeah. <laughs> it took a while but for me because normally we're way past this by now. Excuse me, you're trying to ask like serious <laughs> questions right? and stuff. You know, you know, you're going to assault the uh, audience. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I did nearly pick up quite a, um, a big swizzle lolly thing today, but. I thought that nah, I, I literally can't throw that. It would <laughs> you want to come out with like a gobstopper? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Just take one lick and launch it. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, so uh, that's cheers, Pete. Thanks. <laughs> so, so goals. So, so like, yeah, um, you know, well, I mean, obviously, we're going like, to see you with a belt. Well, that'd be nice. That's always the. I mean, some people it doesn't. It doesn't matter to them too much they just enjoy but that's why I want to be the best I want to yeah so um you know a, either a, a tag or a singles belt you know any mm. any chance that or I both. get or any opportunity yeah or both there's okay. no um <laughs> so is it like I suppose you can't really control how popular or, or sorry that the organization can't control really how um how fans are going to respond yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. like you know, like you said, you've wanted people to boo you and they've cheered you. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. So, if you got like a wrestler that maybe isn't necessarily the the best wrestler, yeah, but is the most popular, yeah, yeah, are they likely to get a belt? You know, um, is the promotion <laughs> likely to go? Well, this guy's really popular, so we'll push him. You know, we'll push him forward. Um, well, I mean, there's there's that's probably a difficult question. No, there's to a, without no, getting there's, in trouble, of course. No, there's a, no, I'll, I'll, um, the, there's obviously quite a lot of attributes. There's obviously you have to go with fans' reaction yeah. to a certain degree yeah. because they're obviously the paying customers. Yeah. And you know, um, same to go slightly off topic with Joe Black. He was obviously a bad guy in the purge, mm -hmm. um, but because of his flips and his, you know, he come out and he, he never smiled or really smiled much. Mm -hmm. he, he just had this like really cocky grin. Um, <clears throat> But fans started to like him and they started to cheer him during the purge. <laughs> because of all the stuff that he did. Exactly. Yeah. All the so extreme stuff that he he's does. Like, he was like the, the bad guy that everyone loved to cheer. Yeah. So yeah. eventually those cheers got that much that it was like, well, you can't be a bad guy anymore. Yeah. Um, and he had a certain path that he was going to potentially go down. Um, maybe even winning gold. And, you know, because he was, um, uh, I think it's called UKWA. Uh, belt now I think um, 
so he was the King of Kingdom right. champion for a little bit. Right. Um, but, you know, he started getting cheered quite a lot. So yeah. that's what's happened with the Purge. Because yeah. obviously you can't have this badass team that, yeah. you know, coming out destroying everyone. And they go, yay! Yeah. You, know, it's <laughs> like, you can't have that. Yeah. So yeah. There's, there's little things like that that happen. But for a guy to win a belt, in my eyes... They should be really hard working, paid their dues, yeah. got to be either the best face or the yeah. best heel, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. um, although fans always want to see the good guy win, you know, good versus evil, yeah. sometimes the bad guy's got to win for the good guy so to be. So you get the payoff then yeah, when exactly. that yeah. finally and wins. It sort, of, it, it sort of adds to the whole. Sort of, I, when I say story, I don't mean you know, but the like. Well, yeah, there the is a story, story, story. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's like all based on storylines, yeah. yeah. And and that change in direction can shock people. And it, you are know. you going to turn up to a show that you already know what's going to happen? This is it. Takes like, the fun out of it. Exactly. Yeah. So, oh, the good guy's going to win that match. Oh, I, I won't bother. I'll yeah. just. You're not so the little twists and the little. That's where it's quite good because. Yeah. I mean, luckily or unluckily, whichever way you look at it, I haven't had to. Or be in a situation where we've had to change a match yet right. during a match, right? Because obviously, if you've planned certain things, yeah. yeah, you go out and do stuff, and nobody's clapping or nobody's cheering, uh, you can't just carry on that match. You've got to. So there'll be times where you've got you've got to yeah, improvise. Yeah, thing. definitely. Because if you've gone out and you've planned a load of things, you know, well, we're going to do this and we're going to do this and the fight on the outside and we're going to. Yeah. But then the crowd aren't invested in it. Yeah. You've then got a. Th- Right, okay, we've got to change it or we've got yeah. to do something to get... Because yeah. else you'll just have a, a crappy match and nobody yeah. will... Yeah. That's something so, I wanted to ask. So, like you like you say, you communicate with, yeah, the, yeah, with the, the people that you're wrestling with, yeah. you know, which, which which like you see, sort of like when you get in the corner, and you, see, yeah. you may see like a couple of little words, yeah. but if you're having to improvise the whole match, how much can you really tell your... There's, like, do be, you have, like, codes and stuff? No, like, I mean, there's there's little bits, obviously. There's um, there's little code words and things that you want yeah. to see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get stick. Like, no, I was going to say, you ain't going to give them away. No, no, no. Because, no, no, I mean, obviously, anybody can come training and anyone can see what... Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, it's spoilt wrestling for me, personally, becoming really? a wrestler. Because I watch occasionally. I mean, I don't really... Follow WWE are more like the NXT than I am the main roster. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you'll see now, and I, I annoy the hell out of my mom and younger brother because I'm like, <laughs> oh, that he, he, he bodged that, or yeah. you know, <laughs> or they're, they're told to stay down because there's a replay, or right. oh, he spoke then, or oh, he's gonna get out because you know, and they're like, shut up. Yeah. And all that. So it's ruined it for me because I kind yeah. of know now. You spot all the little yeah, things. Yeah, so it's like I don't watch it to appreciate it anymore like I right. used to. Yeah. Um, watch it for like education kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's the thing, eh? you've, you've got to keep keep moving forward, yeah, haven't you, yeah. with it. So um so yeah, there is um there's quite a lot that you can actually communicate in the ring. Mm-hmm. Um obviously bearing in mind you have a ref as well that you can I suppose he can tell. feed back oh, to so you. The re- well. you're right, yeah. Refs refs probably there's three of you. If it's a normal singles match, there's yeah. three of you in that match because yeah. the, there's the two wrestlers and the and the ref. Yeah, because the poor ref always gets a knock, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, every time. Well, obviously, <laughs> you didn't see my ref in days, like no, way yeah. back at the. Because obviously, that's a great way of. Um, and I was given the opportunity, and it is a great way of being in the ring. So getting your ring awareness, obviously being exposed to a crowd, because yeah. that can be quite well as you guys know, yeah, going yeah, out yeah, on yeah, stage yeah. and yeah. whether you're performing in front of. You know, two people here like tonight, or whether yeah. you no, I mean thousands. There's loads of people. Yeah, all in the living room. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, all asleep. Yeah. 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 Um, but obviously, it's still you've got that nerves, and you. So it's yeah. a good exposure to it all. Yeah. Um, and um, but yeah, I took my fair share of um, of ref bumps and yeah. and things like that. So it's you know it's it's quite enjoyable and yeah. quite so yeah. So it's good. So. That's cool. But yeah, so there's quite a lot of communicating you can do. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, um, uh, sorry, was you gonna, I was just going to say about like, the, the t shirts you were saying about earlier, the, the, the refs t shirt. Yeah, yeah, you know, the match, yeah. Um, these are some of the, some of the others. We've got it. it was sported by. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> I forgot you had it on. Yeah, yeah. and I mine. Yeah, I I've went got... and took mine straight into the kitchen and, and put it, it on. Did. He's been, been so excited. I have, I've been looking forward to having this. I think it's great. I mean, look at that. 
That's really cool, that is. And, and that's, this is something else you do, isn't it? Like, yeah, you know, printing's um, obviously aside from... Your, your thing. Uh, yeah. Aside from um, the wrestling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's um, it was my full-time job earlier this year, but unfortunately I had to go back to uh, to normal work, but it's it's always like a goal again. To yeah, be, yeah, it's like a work in progress. Yeah, definitely, and uh, as most people know, business is never easy, so... I oh, know, that's it's, right. Um, yeah. This is it. But, well, this is why we... That's why we're sort of started doing this. Yeah, that's thing, you know. Yeah. This is, well, that was that. That's how we we came into contact with Jamie. Yep. You know, we wanted some T-shirts doing for our band, and you know, we advertised online and stuff, and you know, yeah. bumped into you through there, and and that was how it all that's sort of sweet got started. You know, that's right, yeah. But, um, yeah. And then here we are tonight. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. that it was just through. T-shirts and then yeah exactly exactly no, no. and we have, we'll be having some more done soon um, yeah we yes. have, we haven't released our new um our new yeah, um, merch yeah. stuff yet but right, it, yeah. it will be coming yeah, it's going to be good it's it is very good. nice very yeah. very nice looking so, forward to uh, printing so yeah. look out for that yeah so um but yeah, yeah. um but yeah, music so. wise what do you listen to music wise apart from this apart from this yeah to be fair you know your favourite band is this yeah stop it stop it stop it well, I'm not going to lie, I was marking out when I was at, you played two of my favourite songs as well. So, oh, but which two? Um, which two? Um, Drive and... Um, Intolerance. Intolerance, yeah. yeah. I, haven't, I haven't really heard the first one. I was going to say, the first one we so haven't not on the EP. That. It's not on the oh, EP. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. So the EP is in my car, and uh-huh. I've said it, oh, nice it comes on. No, it is, it's on yeah. constantly. As, as I've yeah. messaged you before, yeah, it is yeah. like a, um, it's quite a few songs in there that do mean quite a lot. To me, I, I can relate to them, so it is quite. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because you, you guys are here and you've got me on the. Um, but <laughs> no, I do. It, you probably didn't see. But I was, was going like, to say I didn't yeah, notice exactly. actually you singing along. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah know, which was no, all the probably words. sang the words better than I, I did. Say you probably <laughs> remembered them at least. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can just mind. You might have a new job for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm too tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, <laughs> Do you want me with the? Uh, I mean, I've been just I've been the two guitarists at the back. Yes, yeah, stand really well. Yeah, yeah mate, like... a really deep stage. <laughs> um, so, what else do you listen to? Um, I haven't really got a specific genre. To be fair, I listen anything from disturbed to. Right the way through to pop music that's yeah, like yeah. little mix and things like that. I'll, uh, oh, that's fine. Um, you like what you like. Yeah, yeah as yeah. long as it's as long as I can. I mean, I don't like a lot of music that's produced nowadays. I think yeah. it's too. Um, I prefer bands like yourselves that are yeah. writing it more personally and rather than the pop crap. That's yeah, just I was gonna say it's churn day. It's written by some some bloke in an office just on a bit of toilet it. paper. That's yeah. <laughs> Just oh yeah, we'll repeat that line for three and a half minutes and yeah. put a good beat to it. And it'll all make the single ladies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All the single ladies. That's it. Written by how many people? Is it fifteen or something yeah, yeah. like that? There's, there's no like, I don't know. I think music is kind of, but that's a whole, whole different subject, isn't it? Yeah. You know, there's no. Um, it's all very capped and very. No, you are going to release this song and yeah. You know, I mean, you can even tell with the likes of like Ed Sheeran and stuff, that even his music has gone like a bit more enclosed and more yeah, it's kind of commercial like, kind of thing. Yeah, so definitely. Which, a lot of people like, I suppose yeah. it's a paycheck at the end of the day and if someone said to me, oh, we're going to give you 20 million a year, but you have got to sing this. I'm not or you've got to wrestle in a certain way. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You're not yeah. going to argue. I mean, you can have morals at the end of the day, but yeah. Like, it's, yeah. if that's where the money is... Them dollar dollar yeah. bills. I was going to say, morals only pay the bills, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, they don't, unfortunately, anymore, and, yeah. and the world is becoming more and more around around money, and you yeah. need money to do everything. Yeah, okay. that's it. That's it. So... But that's going a bit deep for um, yeah yeah I think, yeah, I think yeah don't bring the evening down. no no <laughs> yeah. 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 well uh, well yeah I mean unless there's anything else you want to you want to talk about or I've, I've really enjoyed that it's yeah been I've fun. Really it's been fun it. yeah um, so people can find you at the exceptional yeah sugar Jimmy Vice, sugar Jimmy Vice on yeah. Facebook. And, you managed uh, to tag the page I saw earlier. Really I don't know what's yeah, yeah. going on with Facebook. He <laughs> doesn't like my iPhone for some reason. He's, he's took it in turns of it. Yeah, I've been doing it until the beginning of the week. They didn't like him. So. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't know what it's like. I can't get my head around the whole business pages. Because I struggled with JG printing for a while yeah. as well. And yeah. like, 
there was people that couldn't tag me or couldn't find me or couldn't, yeah. you know, and it was like, well, the, to okay. be honest, what the, it's, it's like what they want you to do, uh, if you've got a page, they, they uh, Facebook want you to pay. Yeah, the, for to, the ads and everything. Yeah. And so you could have a thousand people that follow your page, but it's only between three and five percent that actually see yeah. it naturally. So you're not going to get a lot from us, that 30 people, no. something yeah. like that per post. You know, it, it, again, it's going back to this money orientation. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think what I've found is if you've got a page, share it on your personal page. Yeah. Because yeah. people will see we'll you. See, yeah, the things. algorithms will naturally, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think not just us, but everybody should, if you've got, if there's a page you like and you want people to see it, you should share it yeah, on your yeah. own page. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the more people comment on it, the more people see it. You know, it helps everybody. Yeah, yes. it's, and it's a click. That's all it is. That's it's what. A click. Do you know yeah, that, that frustrates me? I'm, I'm not going to get too much, but that frustrates the hell out of me because yeah, I've still got a lot of friends on mine that haven't even like. I mean, the the exceptional Jimmy Vice page is only quite new, so. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I got up to about 130 likes in the first couple of hours on that, so yeah, that was quite good. good. Yeah. Um, but my business page is still about. 60, 70 of my friends who, yeah. I, I, and they're not just like friends who I've added and I've never spoke to, they're, yeah. they're like yeah. family and things that still haven't liked my business page and I'm like, I see you sharing crap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yet yeah, you yeah. can't support me just yeah. with one little like. Yeah. This is it. You're, you're not asking them to buy. No, no, it's just yeah. one yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, obviously that would be nice. Yeah. But at the same time, but it's, no, like, it's just one little you, click. If you're scrolling yeah. by, if you see it, I mean, how many people? Lines, how many it? people sit on the toilet now on their phone, scrolling through crap, yeah. liking right. statuses and liking four times a day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you do? Dark, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just. <laughs> he's coming for this. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, bad guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you normally go? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So, um, so JG printing and stitching. Yeah. I need um, to change that because I can't do stitching anymore. I know, I, I did, I did yeah, do that, but I, I didn't want to... No, no, that's I okay. No, I, do, I do need to, um, do need to rebrand, but yeah, it's still... Uh, it's still JG printing and stitching, yeah. but you cannot get stitching, no. unfortunately. unfortunately. But you can get printing, like on this hat. Yes. And these t-shirts. These fine t-shirts. Yeah. Which, which are available at the next show, and... Um, that was one thing I wanted to touch on just really quickly. Yeah, Because um, yeah. a lot of people might just think... Um, that these t-shirts are just there, but to a lot of wrestlers, that helps pay for their travel to shows. Of course, yeah. Because yeah. a lot yeah. of the time, a lot of the promotions expect you to just, I mean, some of them will pay you, but yeah. you, you make your money for the night, most of the time, on the t-shirts it, as well. It's, it's, it's like the same with them. bands that is. Exactly. A lot yeah. of the money yeah. these days, bands that are touring, will make money from merch yeah. because, yeah. you it know. It costs money to travel to a gig that you might not necessarily get back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, you've obviously got a lot of expensive equipment that yeah. you have to upkeep and you have to, yeah, that's right. you know, and it's the same with us us wrestlers as well, you know, the yeah. t-shirts are there and I'm not just trying to obviously get extra sales, but yeah, it's, um, it. it's, but it's not just you, you're talking about, there's other wrestlers that have got the t-shirts and stuff. I think, and I think there's only, sorry, I think that's there's right. only um, a, a couple of wrestlers on the, on APW now that haven't, they're either still waiting for designs on their merch yeah. or, but our merch table is really full with APW merch yeah. which, um, mm. for just the APW brand. Um, but then obviously you've got the individual wrestlers as well. Yeah, so yeah. It's, um, but yeah, the Club Tropicana t-shirts are available as well. Yeah, yeah. But these ones are cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love the, the aviators. The aviators are so cool. I know. Yeah, they I awesome. need to get some, but like... It, I've only got a cheap prime up. I mean, Armani, literally Ray Bans. That's the only way to do my scrolls. But no, obviously, like, because you take them off and you chuck them in the ring or you chuck them, or yeah. they're only one pound fifty from Primark, and yeah. I've had them since I started, and I don't have to worry about them. Yeah. Whereas if I do go out and buy a decent pair, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna be like, put them in a protective box. Exactly. Can't, can't start it's, it's, it's not like the lollipop. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just for yeah. a minute. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But um, I actually managed that. I think it was the second, my actual official debut. I think it was, and then um, I come out with my glasses. No, it was the running, right. and then. Um, 
obviously started getting clobbering by a guy and my glasses were still on. Oh my god, one by fifty glasses. But I managed to catch them, fold them and chuck them out of the ring while taking the inside. And I was like, yes, my glasses are safe. You know, my nose is probably broken. And I'm like, my one pound fifty glasses are open. Yeah, yeah, oh hell, they won't. Yeah, exactly. But but yeah, so yeah. Well there we go. So uh well should we'll we'll wrap it up then. Yeah. Um we'll um We'll we'll plan another one of these. Yeah, you know we we hope people have like enjoyed it and and yeah. watched it and stuff. If you have, just click share. That yeah, that really that would yeah. be great. And um and if you want to be be a guest on on the next one um or or one one to follow that even follow when that. yeah yeah get in touch with us if you've yeah. got like a a small business or something or if you're another uh, another musician that's got like a, a band yeah. or whatever. Get in touch and um, mm. and we'll see what we can do together because that's that's what it's all about, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you know, we've all um, we've all got sort of goals that we want to um, yeah. reach and stuff, and yeah. you know, help each other. It all helps, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Well, We're there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Okay. Take care. Cheers. Take care. Peace.